to your questions or who could address those statements, even if that means I need to go back, talk to those individuals, and actually have them call you directly. I would absolutely do that. So when I actually got ready to come to Maine and I got the invitation, you know, I had several family and friends um, to give me some advice on Maine. So first, it started with my wife. My wife is a foodie, so she eats. She said, listen, if you go to Maine, you make sure you try the lobster. You make sure you get lobster. And it's pretty cost effective, too, so you don't spend a lot of money. Is that true? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so she gave me some bad information. I'll make sure I take that back. <laughs> uh, um, number two, my friends, I'm a sports fanatic. So anybody who's been around me know I love all sports. College, NFL, hockey, baseball. I can talk about all of them. Patriots. And so, <laughs> <laughs> I was so well, listen. You know, when in Rome, you do as Romans do. So I got advice from my friend and say, well, you don't want to say anything negative about any New England Patriots, anything <laughs> negative about the Boston Red Sox, don't say anything negative about the Bruins or the Celtics or any of those teams. I said, okay. And then third, one of my friends said, well, listen, if you want to be invited back, if you really want to connect, you may want to put a statement or find an opportunity to say, you know, Tom Brady is one of the best quarterbacks that ever played the game. And you might get another invitation back. <laughs> All right. So, as I start to speak, I, I first want to start with recognizing a, a, a group of individuals that I had an opportunity to see um, uh, this year in um, Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, um, is there anybody here from Post 207 Ellsworth area? <laughs> Listen, um, I got a chance to see your Legion baseball team play. I want to recognize them for making it to the World Series, and I want to give them a hand. Um, <laughs> showed a lot of tenacity in their participation in the World Series. And not only that, um, they, they, they actually showed a lot of tact, which is something that kind of ride under the right off many times um, with some of the players and some of the kids that actually go out to the World Series. So I was, they represented Maine very well. They represented the Legion very well. So if you didn't get an opportunity to see them, or if you didn't hear anything, you heard it from me, they did an outstanding job with that. And they gave you the only one. So, when I got the invitation to come here, you know, I have a HR background. And so if you've ever been around HR people and we get an invitation to come out, we go into think tank mode. And so we typically sit down and I say, well, what do I want to talk about? What do I want to tell? What message do I want to give? And so I started dialing down some topics. You know, first I started with, you know, I should talk about diversity and inclusion. Then I moved over to, you know, talking about we need to talk about getting younger veterans in America. And then I even moved further to say, well, maybe I should talk about some of the communication barriers between all of us, between the departments the genders, between the different races. Or, and, and last, I said, well, maybe I should talk about the decline in membership. And I paused, because I realized I was doing much of what the country do today, which I was identifying all the things that divide us. If you ever look at the media divides us, you know, you know looking at the news is miserable now. You know, because every time you turn on the news, no matter what news you look at, no matter whether you watch CNN, whether you watch Fox News, whether you watch MSNBC, there's always a topic that is thrown out to divide us, to remind us of negativity. So 
well, I decided to come out and do something a little different. And I said, well, listen, let's identify something 